we're going to try to clarify uh, a point uh, that people sometimes get confused on. When you're when you're in the legal sandbox of make believe of man management, okay, they uh, they basically can confuse you because they're using terms that seem so close to truth. So they'll come up with words like a fact when used in fiction is called factitious. Just a fancy word for a fact within a fictitious filing because they're dealing with legal and make-believe and they need legal participants to be in that. So they have to create a language that works within that. And that's why they use terms like smart for their world because it's injury, it's not wisdom. Uh, don't confuse wisdom with being smart. So we're going to, uh, we're going to look at a uh, little document, a uh, little download I got. It's dealing with uh, entity selection. And it says, in Canada, an entity assumes its form upon registration or incorporation. Okay, that's why the parents are informants because they create, they fill in the form, but they're putting in the form. The form is the formation, the army name, the arms name, the surname, and they need that because they can't have a legal entity exist without a legal surname. And that's why most of the modern statement of birth records filled out by the parents and if you look really close, because they put it in tiny print, it'll have legal surname, but it won't say legal given name. There's a reason for that. Because the main stress that they're after, of course, the underlying reason for the form to be filled out is to create a legal existence of something in name. So we're going to go to uh, a book. Uh, it's called Management and the Law. Samuel Fox, 